Hey guys, welcome back. This one is uh, called Rooster, Alice in Chains, uh, off the MTV Unplugged set. Um, goes very good with the other lesson I just did called No Excuses, because we are doing sort of bar chords and variations thereof. So, uh, let's check it out. What we're gonna do here, this one's actually, I would consider this rhythmically a lot simpler than No Excuses, um, which is good for anybody who struggles with rhythm but slightly harder for the left hand because we're going to be doing the same shape but we're actually going to be playing the entire bar and kind of going on and off so it's it's almost a built-in exercise as well as being a cool riff so uh, the way that we start this it's going to be a second fret chord and um, actually just uh, a mental note uh, in the recording they are tuned down a half step their entire guitars are down a half step uh, mine is just in standard tuning for uh, simplicity's sake and because most of the people checking this out will be in standard tuning. So um, the way we're going to do it is it's going to be a major bar chord rooted on the low E string shape. That's going to be your shape and we're going to do it at the second fret. So if you need to review that chord, uh, go ahead and do that before you, uh, you come into this lesson or you can just jump right in, I guess it's fine too. So um, the way it's going to work is we're going to play should be getting all of those notes. So just a quick refresh. First finger's barred over the entire neck of the second fret, and you want to kind of pinch it off and create the space underneath, of course. Third finger comes up to the fourth fret on the A string. Pinky's on the fourth fret of the D string. Uh, middle finger's on the third fret of the G string. And your top two fingers are held by the first finger as well. Uh, top two strings are held by the first finger. So it's second fret, fourth fret, fourth fret, third fret, second fret, second fret. That's an F sharp major bar chord. It comes from your open E shape. So if you play your E and you trade your fingers out to free up your first finger, you can walk that E up to the second fret, thus making it your F sharp bar chord. So that's the first, the first chord. Now what you're gonna do is kind of pivot off by just lifting your first finger off. So the move is quite simple, where it's just strum, strum, one more strum, you lift off. That's it. Now, the strumming is pretty rough. It's on the page, of course, on the document, but... Um, I would just allow the hand to swing, to have some sense of feel. You don't want to just be kind of dead with it. It's not fun to play, it's not going to uh, feel good, it's not really going to sound all that, all that natural. There's no energy to it. So make sure that you can keep your hand on some kind of a grid where you feel it, you're swinging on it, even if it is kind of a nice laid-back tempo. So um, that's your rhythm now. one up strum which is the final up strum before you switch chords and you're gonna do uh, you're gonna move up three frets and do it on your a bar chord at the fifth fret so and it just loops and it doesn't have to be perfect either I'm intentionally not strumming through the entire chord all the time because uh, the musician in me kind of doesn't want to hear the whole chord all the time. I want to hear some of the lows and then some of the highs at certain times. Um, strive to, to make sure that you have a nice comfortable rhythm um, and then it feels good to you. And, and you should be able to, to strum cleanly over all the strings. You know, it shouldn't be sloppy, but um, it, you know, it's open to interpretation to some degree because, you know, it's music, of course. So. Uh, just keep that in mind. So that is your verse part. It's just going to pivot between your F sharp and then F sharp without the bar and your A and your A without the bar. Really simple. Now your chorus section just walks up to the seventh fret. Yeah, we've come to snuff the rooster part is seventh fret, but this time roll up very similar to No Excuses now, to allow those open two top strings. And just all down strums, nice and easy. Come to stuff the 
up to the 10th fret. So it's just a three fret move. Eight strums a piece, two bars, so I think of it that way. Uh, sorry, one bar a piece, but yeah, however you want to look at it, eight strums. Oops. And it goes back to the first part again. And uh, then you do it one more time. practice for learning this bar chord, learning how to move it, how to keep your, how to, you know, play shape and release and keep your fingers on the strings as you slide up, reform the shape, make sure your thumb follows and it comes right behind your first finger well. Lots of good stuff in here. It's very uh, easy to chew on this riff. So one time through the whole thing now. So that's your song. It's super easy. I mean, at least the acoustic version. Uh, so check it out. Uh, rock on it. Uh, send your requests, and I'll see you soon. Peace.